Welcome to Pishtech's VR Sport Fishing. You've got several lakes to explore and several species of fish to catch. You can go on casual fishing trips in which you get to pick the lake, the time of year, and even the weather. You can also enter bass tournaments. Each tournament takes place on a specific lake at a specific time of year, but the weather is unpredictable. You start the game with just a little money, so your first stop will be a visit to the bait shop. The shop has everything you'll need, from rods and reels and lures, to electronics and even new and used boats. At first you'll only have enough money for a rod and reel and a few lures. Take your time at the lure rack. Every time you visit the bait shop, the assortment of lures will be different. There are thousands of possible combinations of styles, sizes, and colors. If you find your favorite lure in stock, it's a good idea to buy several of them. You're going to lose some lures from time to time. Once you have a rod and some lures, it's time to go fishing. Until you can afford to buy a boat, you'll be fishing from the dock on the lake of your choice. You can pick the view of your choice when you're fishing. You can change the view in the options screen or by pressing the V key. You can also zoom in and zoom out in most views using the Z and A keys. In the first person view, you can hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse in any direction to look around. When you're fishing, you can hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse to turn to face the direction you want to cast. When you're ready to cast, click the left mouse button. If you want to close the reel and stop the cast in midair, just click again. Then hold the button down to reel line back in. While you're retrieving, you control the rod with the mouse. Pull back on the mouse to raise the rod and pull on the lure. Use the page up and page down keys to adjust your reeling speed. You can work the lure back to you any way you like. When a fish strikes, set the hook by pulling back on the rod quickly. If the fish is small for the tackle you're using, you can often just hold down the mouse button and crank it right in. If it's a bigger fish, you'll have to fight it more carefully. Use the rod to pull the fish towards you, then reel in while lowering the rod. Your reel has a drag that will let line out when there's too much tension on the line, but it will only work when you're not cranking on the reel. If the tension gets dangerously high, let off the mouse button or lower the rod to reduce the tension. You can adjust the drag setting with the plus or minus key on the number pad, or with the right shift key and the up and down arrow keys. Bring in all the line and you'll land the fish. Break your line and you'll lose not only the fish but also your lure. It's possible to snag lures on weeds, logs, and other cover. Some lures will snag more easily than others on different types of cover. If you snag your lure, just crank on the reel or tug with the rod to try to free it. Depending on how badly it's snagged and on the strength of your line, you might pull it free or you might break your line. There are some tagged bass around the docks and catching one is worth hundreds of dollars. Catch enough tagged bass and you can buy your first boat. Your first boat will probably be a basic old fishing boat. It's nothing fancy, but it will get you out on the water. To drive the boat, select a view you like and use the up arrow key to increase the throttle. You can let off the key to keep running at the throttle setting you've selected. Use the down arrow to decrease the throttle. When you're stopped, you can hold down the down or up key to shift into reverse or forward gear. Use the left and right arrow keys to steer. When you found a place you want to fish, stop the boat and click fish. If your boat has an electric trolling motor, you can still use the arrow keys to control the boat while you're fishing. If not, you'll be drifting with the wind as you fish. When you're ready to move again, just click drive. Your boat has a limited fuel supply and, if it's got an electric motor, a limited battery charge. Driving the boat with the outboard will recharge the battery somewhat. Your battery will be fully charged at the start of each tournament day or each fishing trip. You can buy fuel for the boat at the bait shop. Some boats have fuel and battery gauges on the dashboard. Others have removable gas tanks with fuel gauges on top. Use a first-person view to check the gauges. Be careful driving your boat. If you bump the bottom at low speeds, you won't hurt anything or risk getting stuck, but if you run into the shore or into very shallow water while moving fast, you'll run your boat aground. In a tournament, it takes 10 minutes of game time to push the boat back into the water, and those 10 minutes can make a big difference in a tournament. Once you've got a boat, it's time to start competing in bass tournaments to earn money faster. In each tournament you'll compete with several simulated anglers, and the three people with the heaviest total weight will win cash in each tournament. There's extra money to be made for bringing in the heaviest single bass of each day of the tournament. 
When driving on the lake, pay attention to where you're going, especially during tournaments when there's a lot of boat traffic. If you hit another boat, you'll be disqualified from the tournament. In a tournament, you'll often want to use a fairly heavy rod and reel, so you don't have to spend a lot of time fighting a fish. You want to get them in the live well as quickly as you can. On the other hand, heavier tackle can't cast as far with lightweight lures, and sometimes heavy line may be too visible, and you might not get as many bites as you would with lighter line. When you're fishing just for fun, you might prefer to use lighter tackle, just for the challenge. Some tournaments last just one day, and some run for two days. Each day of a tournament gives you six hours of game time, about half an hour of real time. Keep an eye on the time, because you've got to get back to the dock in time for the weigh-in. There's a three-pound penalty if you're a few minutes late, and if you're ten minutes late, you'll be disqualified. Between days in a two-day tournament, you can visit the bait shop to restock and to fuel up your boat. Also in the shop, you'll find sunglasses. Polarized sunglasses make it easier to see underwater. Here's the difference they make. There are also some very expensive high-tech glasses in the shop. These give you even better visibility. Only largemouth bass and smallmouth bass over 14 inches long are counted in the bass tournaments. The limit is five bass. If you catch a nice bass after you've got five keepers, you'll automatically release the smallest bass of the six, so keep fishing for bigger ones as long as time allows. As you earn more money, you can add to your equipment at the bait shop. You can only own one boat at a time. When you buy a better boat, you'll get a trade-in for your old one. You can own as many rods and lures as you like. You can also purchase a fish locator. That can be very helpful as it will show you the depth of the water, the structure of the bottom, the locations of weeds and even fish. When you own a fish locator, you can see it on the dashboard of your boat or with an overlay on the screen. You can turn the fish locator overlay on and off in the options screen. You can also purchase an underwater camera if you want to see what's going on under your boat. When you buy a camera system, it unlocks several additional views while fishing views that follow the lure. Sometimes it will be very easy to find fish, but other times it can be a real challenge. If you ever need help finding fish or deciding what lures and techniques to use to catch them, you can call me and I'll be your fishing guide. That's free and casual fishing trips, but there's a fee for calling me during a tournament. Click on Call Guide whenever you need some advice. Take some time to check out the options screen. You can adjust the graphics settings to make the game run smoothly on your computer, enable special features like the Vuzix VR920 Virtual Reality Eyewear, and the Styx controller, and adjust the skill level. Setting the skill level to beginner makes the water a little clearer for spotting fish, it makes lures snag less easily, and it makes fish a little less picky, and it makes tournaments a little easier. If the fishing seems too easy for you, raise the level a notch. Well, that pretty much covers it. Fish your way up to the top level tournament, earn your ultimate collection of tackle and equipment, or just go have some fun with the fish. Good luck!